What's up you guys, Jason here again and welcome to what I'm calling the Christmas edition. If you're new here, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second, costs absolutely nothing, but helps the channel in a big, big way. As you've noticed, I'm not at a campsite, back at the apartment or even on a mountain. I'm actually out along the southern coast at my mom and dad's place for the holidays. And as you can see, I'm set up outside on the lawn on what is a stunning day. And I'm going to be enjoying a cold one with you guys. As the year comes to a close, I decided to do something a little different. I figured it's a great opportunity to have a chat and to share my thoughts and uh, to take a look back at what has been a hell of a journey for me. I wanted to reflect, reminisce and appreciate how the channel has evolved into what it's become today and ultimately how I've grown with it. I'm by no means done in any way. Uh, if anything, I'm even more motivated and inspired to keep going, uh, to put content out there that's interesting, fun and informative. But it's also important to understand that I create these videos not for fame or vanity, but simply because I enjoy doing so. And besides, I mean, you know, it's become such a big part of what I do, it would be hard to stop now anyway. So JPro5 was born in 2019 with our first ever trip abroad. Uh, it was exciting and frightening all at the same time, from applying for our passports to planning the trip to boarding the plane and to arriving in a foreign country on the other side of the world, only to immerse ourselves in a very different culture. And it's because of this that it initially began as a travel and adventure channel. But quickly I learned that this would not be the case. There was no way I'd be able to post regular videos about exotic travel destinations around the world. There was just no way. The next phase the channel went through was pure adventure. Uh, being involved in the tourism industry, I was lucky enough to have had first-hand contact with a number of service providers who catered for extreme adventure experiences. And for a while, things were super awesome. Uh, from jumping off the world's highest commercial bungee bridge to snorkeling with seals in cold infested waters and even to firing an American 12 gauge double action shotgun in an indoor shooting range. It was super exciting and I surprised myself in many ways. But of course quickly I became addicted to this adventurous lifestyle and the problem I soon encountered was money. Uh, nothing was free and the costs quickly escalated to say the least. The financial strain was just way too high to sustain these sorts of videos and I needed to cut back. Uh, also, at this time I still had very few subs and my videos were getting even less views. But uh, clearly I was doing something wrong and uh, the channel had become pretty stale and of course I was losing my drive. Come March 2020, COVID-19, three months of long hard lockdown and it was brutal. Uh, confined to a small apartment, it tested my tolerance and patience and during lockdown I watched a lot of YouTube and I mean a lot. I was however inspired to re-edit some of my older videos as I upgraded my software. Uh, it not only got me busy learning a new skill but it also rekindled that fire to start creating content again. During this time I also made a short video about our cat as a formidable hunter, I called it the Gecko Project. I also did another short video about making a lanyard. Both videos of course did pretty poorly but I didn't care. Uh, it was something to keep me busy uh, as I was learning this new skill. Plus I was also starting to post content again after what had been quite some time. And for me that was a big positive. So during this time, I also stumbled upon quite a few camping and outdoor channels, very successful YouTubers, mostly from Canada, and I have to say it was an absolute revelation. Uh, these guys not only wowed me, but also totally inspired the next phase of the channel's evolution. I watched everything from hiking the PCT to silent bushcraft videos, from canoeing the Great Lakes of Canada to winter camping in a hot tent in the snow. I wanted to, but more so, I needed to get out. So I started planning my first camping trip as soon as the lockdown restrictions began to ease. I was so ready to go, I even filmed a video about me testing out my sleeping bag and spent the night outside on our balcony. So on the 26th of June 2020, I headed out along the west coast north to the Cedarburg Mountains to a spot called Enjo and two days later Jamaica. I was completely and utterly in my element, doing what I'd forgotten I loved so many years before. It was soul cleansing and absolutely liberating. This is where I dropped my very first ever Facebook teaser that got quite a good response and that was it. 
I finally had direction as to what I wanted to do. It was great to be out again and loads of fun making that video. I've been camping my whole life and as far back as I can remember my parents had always been out exploring nature and I guess it's something I picked up along the way but never really appreciated until now. I have been camping years before and a lot of my gear was packed away in storage so unpacking it and rediscovering long forgotten pieces of kit was like being a child again sitting at the Christmas tree uh, and so one camping video became two became three and so on and so forth. My buddy Andre also joined me for a few trips and it was great having his company, we shared some great laughs and we made some awesome memories. I also had my wife come along for a couple of trips and a subscriber joined me for an overnighter. And it was great to say the least, the highs, the lows and everything in between. Spiders, ticks, thunderstorms, baboons, strong winds, hiking trails, waterfalls, rivers, snow, flowers, animals, mountains, stars, forests, sunrises and sunsets and it's been a hell of a ride. I also started exploring options other than sleeping in a tent, hence the introduction of the tarp, the bivy and the hammock. Uh, I wanted to be more versatile and varied. I also found myself looking to switch things up by challenging myself to different setups and situations and I wanted to push myself to keep trying something new. Uh, to not allow myself to become complacent and boring and it's those challenges that really got me excited and have me wanting even more. I think I'm now at the point where I, found, I find myself uh, drawn to wild camping more and more um, and I must admit I really admire those Canadians. Uh, they're so lucky to have such huge untouched wilderness to play in and explore. Uh, their choices are abundant and it's a lifestyle I often find myself dreaming about. Uh, unfortunately here I find that we are so limited by safety, security and sad to say politics. Uh, so it really forces us to be a lot more mindful and cautious uh, but you know that's another story. So I guess I find myself going through yet another little transition as I start to shift from conventional camping sites to more wild, rough and rugged type locations. I do like the idea of being completely alone, isolated and foregoing regular campsite luxuries. And uh, I have to say I like the sense of the unknown and having to survive a night out in the wild. And for me that's super fascinating. Of course I will still make the occasional campsite video but I definitely want to mix things up in the new year for sure. I may not be a big YouTuber or media influencer, I'm still very small but I am super grateful to you guys, my subscribers. Without your support and encouragement I wouldn't be doing this, so this is for you. Thanks for all your likes and comments, thanks for motivating me to keep going, thanks for watching and for your constructive feedback, but most of all Thanks for sticking with me. Wherever you may be, whatever your background or belief, I hope you are safe, happy and healthy with your loved ones. I hope that the new year brings us as a united people together once and for all, so that we may build as one and not crumble as many. 2020 has been a huge test. 2021 will be an even bigger test as humanity begins to recover from COVID-19's utter destruction and devastation. May the new year see you all bounce back even stronger. May we all remain humble as we embark on new endeavors, but let's not forget those that we lost along the way. Let's take a moment to celebrate them for they too should be remembered. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Please like this video. Please share your comments down below. Look after yourselves. Take it easy. Love you lots. I will see you again in the next year. Until then, cheers and bye.